YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here with another video and something that we said uh, leading up to the days before uh, week one where the Ravens had to and just really every NFL team had to establish their 53 man roster one thing that we said uh, is that it would not be the final 53 man roster like there is no such thing uh, as a final 53 man roster because no NFL roster is ever final because you have injuries that happen, you have trades that happen, you have cuts that happen, you have all sorts of stuff that happens to where it is impossible for the 53 that you start the season off with to be the 53 that you end the season off with. And that is certainly the case with the Baltimore Ravens as linebacker Josh Bynes. He has been added back to the active roster for the third time in his career with the Ravens. Uh, because, of course, we know Super Bowl year, he was on that roster. Uh, and then the 2019 season, he was on that roster. And now, a couple years later, after going to, where did he go? To the Bengals for a year? No, whatever. Yeah, he went to the Bengals for a year. And he was like, uh, I don't know if this is for me. And so he came back home where he belonged. Uh, so now he's officially, officially back home because he's officially on a 53. Um, and... I'm not really sure what this tells us. We know Patrick Queen, he's been struggling a bit. Uh, he's been struggling a bit with uh, tackles, getting pushed back a bit. So it does give us that some sort of old man strength in the middle. Uh, maybe you can show Patrick Queen a few things. I'm sure he does that in practice already. But now on the field, uh, that's a whole different ball game. Because one thing with Josh Bynes that we remembered, especially from the 2019 season, uh, was that he wasn't the fastest linebacker out there. <laughs> he certainly wasn't. But his knowledge of the game is showed. Uh, because there would be some plays where he wouldn't make and some plays where he would almost make, but he would be right there. He would be so close to making them. Uh, just if he had a little more speed, he could have got there a bit sooner. But for the plays that he did make, right place, right time, smarts, instincts. And, and that's something that's important uh, in today's NFL because it is, it's moving. It's faster than ever. So you got to get with it or get lost. Uh, Patrick Queen, um, he, he'll be fine in the long run. Um, he just got to clean up some things. And, and that is my theme right now through these first three games with the Ravens. They just got some small fundamental stuff that they just got to clean up. They got to clean up and they'll end up being good to go uh, for the long haul. So it, it's nothing that they can't fix like the turnovers. They got to fix the turnovers and obviously hold on to the ball. But drops haven't been a huge issue throughout the whole season. I mean, they've happened here and there. But they haven't been a huge issue. They were obviously a huge issue with Hollywood on Sunday, but it's nothing that can't be corrected. So it's not like it's a long term thing or anything like that. Um, and they, they also made another move by adding Jordan Richards uh, to the practice squad. So he's back because, uh, of course, Jordan Richards, he was released a couple weeks ago. Uh, but now he's on the practice squad. So with them elevating Josh Bynes to the active roster, uh, Jordan Richards ended up taking his spot on the practice squad. So Ravens, they stay busy. Uh, and again, the saying, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, that definitely applies to the 2021 season. Uh, and even in positions where the Ravens, they had been ready, they end up having to get ready all over again because that injury bug bit them in the butt and it was no fun. Um, but the fact that this team is still competing the way that they have been, uh, despite all the mistakes that they've been making literally every single game, that says a lot. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.